I might come check on these babies way more often than I have been because there seems to be a lot of problems happening with them. We're leaving for a church this morning, so I have to be gone for that. But as soon as we get back around lunchtime, I'm going to definitely come check on these babies. Okay, back from church. It's about lunchtime, and it's a much cooler day today than it was yesterday. There's a nice cool breeze blowing. I guess it's only in the 80s or 90s. And with the breeze, it feels really good. Okay, I see one. Okay, baby. This little, okay, look at the difference, you guys, between these two. They're the exact same age, but this is what milk and versus no milk will do to these babies. Oh my gosh. So obviously, little Patchy is a little runt. These two, mo I'd guess this one's the biggest and the most fed, second, third, and fourth. But they're not acting quite as hot. They were kind of spread out a little bit. No one jumped out. All four are all right. So that's good. We're going to keep checking like crazy. What do you think, Schulte? Yeah. Look what I did to your babies. All right. Check back in a few hours. Time for the Sunday night bunny check. One full, two empty, three full... Where's the little fourth one? Oh, here's the fourth one. Dead little tort. So we're down to three babies. It'll be a cool night tonight, so I'll cover you guys up. See you tomorrow. It's Monday morning. One baby alive, not super fed, but still left over full. Two babies, same. White and chocolate doing okay. Little patchy doing real skinny. Did you not feed them yet this morning? That's okay. You can feed them later today. Oh, I guess I have to keep you guys not covered up since it's supposed to be warm this morning. Okay, so we're gonna have, we have some heavy machinery coming and doing some work on the property. So it's gonna be loud and scary and weird for poor Jolty Mama. And it was this morning we were preparing and moving a bit of fencing and stuff. It's possible that that'll mess her up and Make her not feed the kits because of the scary, stressful noises. But she's already been such a good mom that I guess it's possible it won't, but we'll just have to see. It is now many days later and I have a lot to catch you guys up on. You guys last saw that we had four kits, two of which were doing good, two of which were doing bad. The two that were doing bad passed away, and for a while we had the chocolate kit and that white kit left. They were being fed, they were growing, they were doing okay for many days. And then I came out one day, and both of them were dead. They were warm and full, and it was the evening check, so I think the heat finally did them in. So... Remnants of this litter ended up living a lot longer than I expected, and Jolti ended up being an amazing mother, and I'm assuming that if the time of year would have been different, then things would have ended up a lot better. Perhaps if she had given birth in fall or winter or spring, when the weather was less hot, they would have lived longer, and maybe even lived up to full maturity. So, though this litter is a failure, this whole experience was a good thing, in that we were able to test out Jolti's mothering instincts and figure out that yes, she did inherit her mother Sequoia's excellent mothering skills, her excellent litter size, her excellent milk production, her excellent care of her babies. And my hope is that this fall and winter and spring over the next few months, she continues to have babies and hopefully because the weather will be cooler then, the heat won't kill them and they'll be able to grow up and hopefully then we can add her beautifully colored, really hardy kits with great genetics to our permanent rabbit breeding herd and maybe even start making some Angora meat rabbit mixes and incorporate these Angoras more fully into our meat rabbit herd.